Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're just coming through the entrance of Dunster Castle and Gardens. Everybody we've encountered since we've been staying in Exmoor has been really, really friendly and we just had another really friendly guy. We were just about to park in the lower car park and a guy said, there's another car park up the top, go for it. So we are. Unfortunately, we got a stream of traffic coming in the opposite direction. There's only actually enough room for one car at a time. But anyway, people are passing here in this passing spot. Oh, look, the last one's just gone. Look, I can see the silhouette see of the castle. It looks big, doesn't it? It's spectacular, doesn't Ooh, it? Oh, yeah. Very pretty looking grounds. We found a nice little spot to park. So we've just come in, we've parked in this top car park here and we've gone into there to buy our tickets. I would advise you check the website for current prices. We're just heading down this path now and we're gonna see what we can see. Looks like there's some sort of children's trail here. Now that dog looks familiar, that's from a book, isn't it? That's an illustration, a famous one, but I can't quite place this well, at the Julian. moment. Julian, isn't Julian one of the famous five? Julian is in Famous Five, but not Boggles. Oh well. That, that was Timmy on Famous Five. Those are rather beautiful, aren't they? The first place we're going to go and visit is a working water mill. Look at these ferns, they're lovely aren't they? They're all blown about in the breeze. It's really lovely. Do you know what I can smell? Wild garlic, it's that wild garlic smell. Some little babbling stream down there. Or rivulet. Not, I'm not sure what you call it. Oh, look at those giant leaves over there. Massive aren't they? You can see the sunlight Ooh, shining through the water. I'm just getting attacked by a, a tree. <laughs> it's pretty well signposted here. Look, reception back that way, castle and exit, stables and shop, toilets, water mill. This is where we're headed. Oh, those leaves are so massive. Can you see all the sunlight shining through them? Something is on that one there. I can see something like there's a silhouette of a creature. I don't know whether it's a butterfly or a bird, so I can't tell. Oh, you can see the big, I don't know, flowers? There's a big old scrunched up one, look. It looks very spiky. Oh, it doesn't fit, no, it's not sharp. They're quite flexible, or those mind. They're coming to be a bit stiffer. Put a spiky, spiky stem on it. Look at that. Wow, what a massive leaf. Lovely little bridge. It's a gnarly old tree, isn't it? Oh. This here is called Lover's Bridge and it's, it's lovely. <laughs> a bit low on that side, isn't it? Hold on to your little children, I'd say. I really love those massive leaves. The kind of otherworldly, you know. But they are indeed of planet Earth. It's a very grassy green meadow, isn't it? I wonder if that's actually crops growing there. I've got a feeling this is not the way to the water mill thingy. I'm going to go find out. I'm just passing by that tree again. I'm really taken with these roots. It looks like it's up on his tippy toes, doesn't it? There's like space between there. And then it goes down into the earth. Going through this portal here it looks very grand, doesn't it? Oh, 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 there's the wheel! There's the wheel, look! Oh, oh, oh. Let's go over to it. Oh, it's all creaking and groaning. It looks like it's made of wood. I suppose it would have been, wouldn't it? There's loads of this blossom all over the floor. It's come from this rather lovely tree here. It's all fluttering down, look. I'm gonna head up this flight of wooden steps. Come up the top to have a look where the water's going in. Oh yeah, that you can regulate the... Oh yeah, regulate the flow. Going back down now, that was very interesting. There was a volunteer up there. He was very enthusiastic and knowledgeable and interesting and he was telling us all about it. This place you see now is actually demo mode, what he's called demo mode. Said obviously it wasn't originally designed to have a demo mode. It was originally built in the late 1700s, but he said after that, the gubbins, you know, the inner workings were updated in the 1800s. So I've popped inside now to have a look at the inner workings. So I presume it would have gone faster if it was not in demo mode, because as I just mentioned, it's not actually grinding any flour at the moment. Or grinding wheat, I should say, really, shouldn't I? There's a winnowing machine there. I won't film everything, obviously. But 
water, giving you an idea of the sort of thing that's here. Ooh, the stone floor. I seem to be doing quite a lot of climbing up spirally staircases since I've been in Exmoor. One of the great big grinding stones by there. And this is an early oat roller machine. Whoa. Well, we've been in that section that we were just in for ages, chatting to the mill assistant. We've come in here to have a look at some of the old agricultural equipment, like this Victorian butter roller separator. Is it a butter roller slash separator? Oh, I'm not sure. So far, we've chatted to two of the people that work here. One was a volunteer and one was the guy that works here. And they've both been very, very engaging and interesting, knowledgeable and enthusiastic. Really good. Oh. I'd be saying you wouldn't want to get your hand in there while the handle's going round, would you? <laughs> We've got some cake crushers. I think it wasn't like, you know, granny's cakes that were baked no. too hard. It was like caked ground rapeseed, wasn't it, he said, for the animals to eat? Something like that. Mm. So that's the end of the building that we were just in. We've come out of there. The last entry to the house is actually 3.45 and it's about quarter past three now. So we're gonna to head to the house next. It was lovely in there. It smelled of old wood and kind of greasing oil. You know that smell you get in these historic wooden places with lots of working mechanism. It smelled like that. And uh, do you know what? Before I went in there, I thought that the grinding stones just had a flat surface to it. Little did I know, there's quite an art to it. There's a very intricate pattern on there, which is used to actually do the grinding. And every so often they need to be re-etched otherwise they just go blunt and they stop working so that's cool oh and maybe this is like the mill stream we get to go back through the wild garlicky enchanted wonderland walk <laughs> you see those giant leaves in that bridge from up here <laughs> you're not enjoying the hill <laughs> practice for tomorrow's walk. This is a big steep climb. <laughs> Look, there's more, there's more. We've been looking right down at the distant rooftop of the mill that we were just in down below. <laughs> Onwards. Oh, thank goodness. We reached a flat bit. <laughs> well, more or less flat anyway. Still feels like very enchanted woodish. We've just emerged from that route through that little bit there. And we're gonna go in now, look through there. It looks really magnificent, doesn't it? We're just going through this big stone arch. Looks amazing. Castle entrance is this way. Look at those doors. Oh, I've got sun glare. <laughs> look at those doors. That's a knock, isn't it? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is indeed. It's a big one. Right, we're heading up. Oh, look, more steps, I'd be. Or can we go this way? No, no, I don't, well, I don't know. Pit dungeon. Let's go in the pit dungeon. But where is the dungeon? Well, it's beneath our feet, apparently. I've emerged into this small chamber, but it, it is not a dungeon. <laughs> okay, I just asked somebody. I'm trying to get into the house before 3.45, because that's when it's last entry, and we don't want to miss it, having come all this way. So we're in plenty of time. So, oh, oh what's cool? Oh, this is so fun. Yeah. We've just come in and there's a gentleman in there, you can hear him in the background now giving instructions and he's told us where to go, but it was so complicated and long that I, I can't remember any of it. <laughs> but um, I think because sections are roped off, as you see, we won't be able to go wrong. IB is trying out the dinner gong. <laughs> That's what the that noise is. <laughs> another grand old fireplace there. Just come over for a closer look at it. Oh, a lion and a dragon. Something tells me they're putting a subtle hint for us not to sit on these chairs because every single one of them has a teasel, a very spiky teasel on it. They'd get ruined, wouldn't they, if everybody kept putting their bottoms on them? Oh, hello, they're a funny looking table leg. We're going to come out of this chamber now and go into another one. Oh yes, thinking about it now, the man did say we have to go into this one next, so we haven't gone upstairs yet. Oh, it looks like we're all set for dinner. I think that's a fake fire. <laughs> it's quite good though, isn't it, yeah. for effect? <laughs> I do quite like that. Like that is steam or whatever. Yeah, perhaps it's water vapour or something, or dry ice. What's in smoke machines? Well, can't it's dry, dry ice, but I can't imagine they have dry ice. Oh, there's the dumb waiter there, look. Press the button to see if the cook is ready to send up the food. Oh, what's going to happen? 
Um, well, maybe she's not ready because look, nothing's happened. <laughs> We're popping into the kitchen. Look at this old oven here. Now the kitchen, according to IB, has just read something. It says it's from 1962. Anybody recognise this oven? It was pat tested <laughs> at some point, look. And it was due for retest in 2003. There's an old fashioned looking cooker there. Looks very kind of eerily familiar to me. Wow. There's a speaking tube. Look. Oh, <laughs> I bet it's just a speaker now. Go, Hang on, let's have a listen. Oh, it says listen in to the kitchen stuff. I'm well aware of the importance of this meal. <laughs> I'm on the Zoom. Apologies. We're heading upstairs right now and somebody else is enjoying the gong. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to appreciate the carving on the staircase? It's kind of amazing. 1680. My boyfriend has just read. I rather like that. Pottery? Ceramic, I think we call that. Yeah, amazing. And we've stepped into a room that looks like this. You're not allowed to use them now because they're fragile, but they've got bell pools either side of the fireplace. There's another one over there, look. We've got some games set out of the table here. It does look as if you're kind of invited to sit and play them. It doesn't say not to. And something to amuse little children down there on the floor. Nice view from the window up here. We're going up a few more steps, carpeted ones this time. Oh, we're into bedrooms now. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Not the best for vlogging. There's one of those bell pulls there, look, for summoning the servants. <laughs> this is the second historical loo that I've been in today. And look, it's one of those old fashioned cisterns there, look, where you literally have to pull the chain. They still occasionally say pull the chain, meaning flush the toilet, but we don't tend to have them up high anymore, do we? Whoa, how was that for a bathtub? A nice fire to keep the chill off when you're sloshing around. There we are, that'd take quite a bit of water to fill it, wouldn't it? Handles for getting in and out. I wasn't planning to climb in the bath. It's such a high bath to get into, you've got to climb in using a step. I want to know what that thing is there, sticking up the middle out of the plug hole. Looks like there's a bell pull for this one as well. I guess we're up to the ceiling. I've just been in that chamber there having lovely chats to a lady volunteer talking about the amazing artworks from the 1600s done on leather from the Netherlands. So detailed and vibrant. Even today the colours are still vibrant and amazing now. They must have been stunning at the time. I haven't filmed everything since I've been here but I'm in this chamber now and apparently King Charles II is reputed to have spent the night here. I'll just do a little slow pan so you can pause and read if you would like to. Well, the house was awesome, and we are about to leave it through the conservatory. Oh, that's a stunning view, isn't it? I think there's actually more to see, but we passed a sign that said tea room, and we just had to come in, obviously. Tea is here. Gone for tea with oat milk. It's a lovely little place, isn't it? We've got cakes coming. Mm -hmm. Strawberry and cream. And my other half has gone for a brownie. That is nice. Mm, really fresh mm. strawberries. Yep. Have some. Mm -mm -mm. I can't stop. That's really light and fluffy. And tea to wash it down. Perfect. We're just trying to decide if we've seen everything or not. We're not sure. The tea is unleashed. Through that window there, there's a vomiting swan like statue. <laughs> is it swan? Yeah, I think it's a swan. Look, there we are, change lens especially to show you the vomiting spawn. <laughs> oh, he's cool. Tea and cake was delicious. We've come out of there now, passing the vomiting spawn. <laughs> We're going to finish up our time here with just a little stroll around to see if there's anything we missed. <laughs> this is a very uppy and downy kind of place. <laughs> I've got a big load of steps to climb up, so I'm climbing up them. There's apparently an alternative route, which is that path there. I think there are things to see still and it said keep up this way so I'm gonna go and have a look. <laughs> oh, look you can see the big house protruding up there. Oh there's a big tower thing. Just a little room. There's some stuff to read. My other half is in there at the moment reading about the history. Oh look at that view, so lovely. Really getting quite breezy isn't it? I can feel the sun on the back of my legs right now. We're at the highest point now. All that other 
big house that we were exploring. That's down below, so nothing is higher than here. In fact, I can show you on an illustration in there. I'll just quickly nip in. See there, look, see, top bit. A big thank you to Best of Exmoor who have put us up in their own private accommodation so that we've got an opportunity to explore Exmoor and just make a couple of videos about things to do while we're here. <laughs> so we've had an absolutely fantastic time so thank you so much to them. They do also have property to rent out, holiday lets etc. So I will put a link down to those in the description so if you are thinking about coming down to Exmoor for a little stay you can click on the link down in the description below and check out their accommodation. We're heading down towards the exit now. We've had a really lovely time. It's been so nice. Oh look, look, you're getting some bonus footage at the end of the Dunster Castle vlog. We couldn't resist coming to Dunster Beach. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's a bit breezy. It's all sand's blowing everywhere. Oh, there goes me out. I'm facing the wrong way. That's better. <laughs> just kind of passing on the way back to where we're staying so we thought we'd just pop by and have a little look it's quite a sea breeze though as you can probably detect from the hat flapping around it or just give up it's just doing what it wants <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm getting strangled by my own hat here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, um, I'm just getting up on the hat. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, could you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate that. If you're new here and would like to watch more videos from me, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I go somewhere where we have to walk on one of these.